This is Joe Price. I just wanted to create a short video. This weekend, our map app had just a, a small issue that made it uh, hard to use. Uh, we've got it fixed now, and so we apologize for that. But I did want to make a video to show you how you can access some of the same hints that you would on the map app. And in some ways, you can actually uh, narrow in your criteria even more. So let me show you how this works. We're going to do this right directly on Family Search, and so I'm going to share my screen. So here we are on Family Search. And what you'll do is hit search records. Now on the map app, we are mostly focused right now on the uh, United States Census of 1910, but you could pick a different uh, data collection if you wanted. I'm just gonna show you how to do it for this data collection. Now here's the neat part is you can type in a place. So you could put in a county. I'm gonna, actually just gonna put in a state. I'm gonna do Carolina. Uh, I'm going to specify that I want to help grow the tree for African Americans. And I actually want to, you know, I'm kind of curious. I'm just going to put in my own surname. So, so notice here that I'm allowed to make the experience as customized as I want. And I'm actually going to even narrow in on people born between 1986 and eight, yeah, sorry, 1896 and 1899. The reason for that is that we added a lot of families from the 1900 census. And so what I'm hoping is that maybe we can connect with some of those uh, families. So let me show you. So there's our criteria. So person with last name Price, whose race is black or Negro, living in South Carolina, born in these years. I'm going to hit uh, search. Um, the other thing about doing this really narrow customized search is that it might give me a number that I could handle by myself. So 83 people. It's not too bad. And uh, notice here that if I look across here, now one other thing I want to do is I just want to focus on people who are the son of the household head. I just find they're an easy group to work with. And again, this narrows me down to 39. So this is a group I can work with. Now, right here, this icon tells me this person is already on the tree and attached, already on the tree and attached, already on the tree and attached, already on the tree and attached. It'd be really neat, so you can see how many are already in the tree and attached. It'd be really neat if Family Search had a little icon here that said hint, It'd be even a little blue box. And then I could just click the hint and I know which ones have hints. But let me show you how to find those hints, even though they don't show up here right now. It takes just a couple extra steps, but I'll show you how it works. So we can click on HOSI, C, B price. And here's, here's two things to watch for. Do you see down here in the lower right, there's a similar historical record with a PID, with a little, uh, this little pedigree chart. That means that Hosea, Hosea price probably is the same as this HOSI price and is already on the tree. And now here's, so now you could use this PID, but the thing I want you to do is just hit review and attach. And what will often happen is that when you hit that, it says, hey, good news. We may have found a match right there. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to hit select. Now notice here we're in source linker, which is exactly where the map app uh, takes us. But now we get to do it for something very customized, exactly to what we want to do. Um, and then let's look at the other information. You can see Margaret. Um, you can see William H. Price. This is a very good match. Everything's lining up really well. Okay, and so I'm going to go add, attach, compare, add, attach, compare, add, attach. Okay, now here I got this Annie H, and over here I've got Oma. So I'm going to do this. And here's something else that's kind of cool. I've got um, this sister named Sarah L. Price. So notice here that I can open up. I'm going to change the focus person to the dad. So now William's the focus person. Now here's the one challenge. William doesn't have any parents. So if I go to try to put Sarah in that spot, it's not gonna let me do it, okay? So I need to put in William's parents. Now the cool thing is, and I don't, I don't have, actually this will probably get more complicated than I wanna show in this video, but just know there are ways of adding Sarah into the family. We just need to put William's parents in the tree first. But what I really wanna show you now is if we come back to this page and if we hit refresh, notice now, that right next to Hosi, it's already on the tree. So, so this is a good way to keep track of your progress and you can look for ones that you haven't uh, done yet. So let me kind of scroll down here and you can do it. Uh, sometimes I look for families that have more people to start with, but in this case, sometimes I look for unique names. This one looks like it could be a good experience. Uh, but, but the other way you can do is just try to work through all of them. Now notice in this case, I have a really big family. Uh, it looks like age was indexed is Y, then when we look at this record, it's almost surely a, a seven. So that's going to cause a little bit of trouble because we're not going to have a birth year for him. Let's see if that was the case out here. 
Yeah, but you can kind of like, once you look at it, you realize that that Y is very likely a seven. Now, one thing we can always do also, and I, I apologize if I'm talking too fast, I get really excited. Uh, let me just back up really quick. The main thing is this page right here will tell you if people are already on the tree and attached. Then you can pick anyone that doesn't have an icon and you can click on them and you can see if there's a way to attach them to the tree. And the way you do that is you click on them. And then at this point, notice right here, there's a little icon here, which is good news. So then when I hit review and attach, it's gonna say, hey, good news. We may have found a match. So then I hit select and then I hit add. Well, um, let me look, let's look carefully. We got Pickens, got Fanny, got Floyd, got South Carolina. Um, and this one is in a slam, slam dunk. Alfred, Alfred, yeah, I don't know, this one's a little tougher. Right? So this one I might do a little more research. So one thing I can always do is I can always open up this person here and I can go and look for maybe some other records and see if I can learn a little bit more about this family. I also sometimes will go on uh, family on ancestry and see if I can find some other things. But the main thing I just wanna point out is just like the map app points you to source linker, you can use the search records feature to narrow in on a particular place, you can focus on helping grow the tree for African-American families. You can do it for a particular surname. I like to focus on people born in a particular set of years. I like to look at children living in a family. That's why I narrowed it to son. But we could also change it to daughter. That would be just as good. So here we go. So once I finish maybe all the sons, then maybe I'll do the daughters. Um, but again, I just wanted to show this video uh, first because it provides a way for you to systematically make sure that everyone is on the tree from a particular group. And the second is just highlight that it'd be really neat if there was a, a record hints icon, because if there were, then what I would do is I would just work my way down that list doing all those record hints icon. And if, if that were in place, you wouldn't even need the map app. This would basically be a better version of the map app. But you know, the map app's nice because it has the, the map with the, with the dots on it. But this is a pretty cool experience too. So I just wanted to share this in case the map app is ever down. This is another way that you can uh, interact with customized uh, record hands.